Hey, what is going on guys? Today on the channel, we're going to be talking about how to download and install macOS Ventura version 13. So this just came out, well, now about a week ago. I've been a little bit behind. Uh, I got a lot of videos out last week, but I never got to macOS, which honestly, I probably should have done that first because that's usually my most popular uh, videos is the macOS videos, although tvOS did really good this time, so I appreciate you guys uh, watching that. But today we're finally on Ventura. I'm going to show you how to upgrade to it, and yeah, well, let's go ahead and do that. So Ventura is compatible with only certain computers, of course, and unfortunately for me, I have a MacBook Air, and this is the 2018 model, so it has the a uh, little baby Intel Core i5 processor and this is now the oldest Mac that can run Ventura so that's pretty disappointing in my opinion because that means next year if I want the latest version of Mac OS I'm gonna have to get a new computer I, I don't know why they did it like that this time I mean I had my MacBook Pro all the way from 2011 to 2018 so it lasted several more years than this 2018 uh, MacBook Air did and it's gonna be really unfortunate because it's been a great computer it has no problems it's basically brand new looking I don't take it anywhere or do anything so really kind of sad but yeah 2018 and up macbook air is what you're going to be able to install this on the oldest macbook pro that you can install this on is uh 2017 models all the way to the latest ones you can install it on a 12 inch uh, macbook if your imac pro is at least a 2017 you can install it on there and the oldest mac uh mini is a 2018 again that's kind of unfortunate 2017 iMac and up, 2022 Mac Studios, and then 2019 Mac Pro and up. So yeah, um, it's kind of a bummer that that's happening, but honestly, they're probably doing that because of Apple Silicon. I know a lot of the features I'm not going to be able to use on this computer because I need an Apple Silicon uh, device, so maybe that's why they're doing it. But yeah, all you do on here, you hit upgrade now in system preferences. So you go system preferences, software update, and then you should have it pop up right here if your computer is compatible with it. Now I'm a little confused because this said uh, like 13, uh, it said way more than 3.92 gigabytes a minute ago. But you hit upgrade now, it's going to download the install macOS Ventura installer like you would do any other macOS version. So you just hit continue, you agree to the terms, agree, it's going to ask you where you want to install it. Now it is a good idea to do an iCloud backup uh, just in case, or I should say a time machine uh, backup just in case um, you need to, you know, you might lose something or never know what could go wrong is basically what I'm saying. So yeah, uh, go ahead and do that backup before you install it. And then it's going to ask you uh, to enter in your password to kind of confirm that. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you enter your password, it's going to go ahead and begin the installation process. So from here on out, uh, it should be mostly automatic. I believe when this step right here is completed, uh, it'll ask us to restart, or it might restart automatically. I can't remember uh, how the previous Mac OS installed. But as you can see, this is gonna take 59 minutes. So <laughs> we're gonna be here for quite some time. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pause the video. You guys, it'll only be like a few seconds. For me, it's gonna be 59 minutes. <laughs> so I will come back whenever we are on the next step. Okay guys, so we are now at the restart your Mac screen. That wasn't really, uh, I wouldn't say that was 50 minutes. It's about to restart in like five seconds, but yeah, I don't think that was really 50 minutes. It seemed more like maybe 30 or so. I don't know. I'll have to look back on the, uh, the time on the first clip, but 
Yeah, it did a lot of things where it was like 59 minutes, then it went all the way down to 27, and then it went down to, I think, 10, and then like 2 minutes. So, yeah, it didn't take too terribly long, but now we are in the restart process. I guess it's closing all my apps. Yep. And now we get to wait an even longer amount of time, I'm sure. So uh, it says this update will take several minutes to complete and the screen will turn off for up to a minute. So yeah, this will probably take, I would say another 30 minutes maybe. I mean, it does take quite some time. So uh, we'll go ahead and let this do its thing and then we'll come back when it is done. All right, and here we are on the login screen. As you can see, we got a new background. So let me go ahead and enter my password real quick. All right, so it looks like it's gonna ask us some questions, analytics. No, I don't share my analytics. And we are updating our mailbox. Looks like Oracle, which is VirtualBox, got blocked. That's pretty typical. And right away we get a pop-up that says what's new in mail so as you can see you can now send later remind me to send and undo send so those are some new mail features that we got of course those mail features are across your ipad and iphone as well okay so some first impressions here uh visual wise i can't even tell a difference the dock might look a little different. Maybe it's a little like, it almost looks more transparent, like it's blended more into my wallpaper. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. So some cool things though on the Mac now. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what I remember from uh, Venture release notes. We do have the weather app as well as the clock app. So you can now have the clock app here on your Mac. You can see your world clock, you can set alarms, your stopwatch, and your timer as well. So that's pretty cool. Also, we finally have a dedicated weather application for your Mac. So obviously it looks like the weather on everything else, but it's just, you know, bigger for your Mac. So you can see, looks like we do have the visual kind of current conditions and all our typical weather information. So that is nice to see that. So you have two new applications there on your Mac. I'm not seeing anything else new application wise. We still have install venture, which is kind of weird. Um, what else? Oh, system preferences is apparently called system settings now. So as you can see, we no longer have system preferences. That's pretty crazy to see that. Now, I've heard a lot about how nobody likes <laughs> these new settings here. And it is something to kind of get used to, as you can see, because, well, we don't have the big icons anymore. We have just this kind of long list over here on the left side. I'm not sure if we can change that or not. Uh, maybe if I just click on something, it'll take me to it. Yeah. So I guess you can't change the view of that. You're kind of stuck with it, but your Apple ID stuff is up there at the top. And it looks like we might have some new kind of things. Um, I don't remember appearance. So we have a whole new appearance section. So that's not under, was that under general before? I think that was under general. Uh, we got desktop and dock. So we got a lock screen settings. That's interesting. So a whole new lock screen settings thing. Uh, we have a user and group section, passwords, internet accounts, and then we have a whole thing for your keyboard, trackpad, and printers and scanners. So I'm not really seeing anything wrong with the system settings. That's gonna be so hard to get used to saying that it is different but they're trying to make it obviously more like ios i mean we've had to scroll on ios for forever so really not seeing what the big fuss is who knows i might run into something a little later 
Uh, let's see. Displays. Where is wallpaper? There it is. Okay. Let's see what wallpapers we got. So this is a new Ventura wallpaper right here. As you can see. Looks really cool. I like that orange. Probably because orange is my favorite color. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Uh, you can see. So you can see. Well, this is very nice. So you know how we used to have two windows pop up? Well, now we have uh, just two right here you can click on and see what you want. Wow, we have auto-rotate colors, auto-rotate pictures, auto-rotate my other wallpapers folders. That's pretty cool. Looks like we have some new colors to choose from. Or maybe I'm just crazy because it looks a little different, but that's pretty nice to see that. Oh, you can go all black. That's... Very nice. We're going to stay with the Ventura wallpaper for a little while as we do the videos and stuff. Uh, but yeah, system settings has been completely redone. So that is uh, very, very interesting there. Uh, I'm trying to think. We got the mail stuff. We got wallpapers. We got system settings, clock, weather. Oh yeah, um, stage manager. How do you... Is that in control center or settings? Okay, there it is, stage manager right here. So if I click on stage manager, it says, with stage manager, you can create your ideal workspace and multitask with ease. Resize app windows, see multiple overlapping, blah, 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 blah. So turn on stage manager, it's kind of weird. Okay, so you have to click on stuff in order for it to pop up. So we have notes, remember one less password, and other stuff and notes. I'm trying to just open a few things without you guys seeing my stuff. <laughs> Let's just open VirtualBox. So obviously you can open up different applications and then when you minimize them, they'll go over here on the left-hand side. So you can kind of quickly access them again. Pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Stage Manager on the iPad. Uh, I'm gonna have to get used to it on the Mac. Maybe it makes sense, maybe it doesn't, I'm not really sure. Um, I think you can also overlap windows, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks like we can overlap windows. So yeah, and then Stage Manager, of course, you can turn it off right here, and everything kind of goes back to normal. There should be system settings, I think, for stage manager. Yeah, stage manager is right there. Turn on, customize. So recent apps, desktop items. Okay, so you can choose whether or not to show those on the desktop, that's nice. Show windows from an application all at once. Okay, so yeah, stage manager is pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to use it. I think it's uh, interesting on the Mac. Uh, but we'll see how it does. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you watching the channel as always. Um, that's kind of annoying that it pops back up. But let me know what you guys think of Mac OS Ventura. I'll have a video coming soon about all the new features in Ventura. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching the channel, and I will catch you all in the next video.